defense that you know we, we can score a lot of points and kind of bulk up in certain areas and the gaps aren't as big from you know second third fourth you know two point swings and so I think we're going to do a pretty good job with that and you know we had a, an, again another group of ladies that didn't shave in the fall and um, you know they're pretty excited to rest I think we're going to move up in, in some of the events and uh, you know the women's meets a lot tighter so it really comes down to who's bumping everybody around and you know again what, what you can kind of set yourself up with in the morning you have to be ready to go in the morning um, and you know we've got to be racy we've got to come out with the right attitude we got to come out excited to swim and you know it's easy a lot of people shut down or feel a little tight in the mornings and this and that and you know we just feel like our women you know we have the ability to really get up and make some things happen in the morning and and, and I think that you know mentally we just have to be ready to do that physically I think we'll be prepared mentally we have to be willing to come out and just get up and attack things. You know coach always says you know you have to race hard in the morning to get back at night and he's 100 percent right if you don't go after it and you're not aggressive in the morning you know you can hold it, hold back all the energy you want for the nighttime swim, but you're not going to be at the nighttime swim if you hold back. So you really just have to go out in the morning, give it everything you got, and then, you know, at night it's just about who's the toughest swimmer in the pool and who can really push to get to the wall first. It's not about times anymore. Then it's just about winning. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. Um, this is my third conference meet, so I hope that it's, you know, going out with a bang. And I know a lot of people... They don't know this, I mean, seniors, this is our last one, but you never know when this is your last or if you'll ever have another piece like me. So you really have to step up and treat it like it's your last because you never know when you'll get that opportunity again. My freshman year, we were pretty low. I think we came in eighth place, and that was kind of disappointing. So definitely having um, an overall team finish of, you know, second, third, maybe even fourth, I think that, that would be a great accomplishment. I know last year, for a couple days, we were in second, and people were pumped about that. So if we um, if we get lit up on fire, it'll be it'll be a good meet to try to go for second. And I think that having a lot of top eight and console finishes among some of our girls. I mean, there are going to be girls top eight in all of their events. So having a lot of high finishers, um, it'll be great. So try to swim hard in the morning to get back at night, and then just race from there. Yeah, we'd like to place as high as we can. You know, the, the women's side anywhere from really from second, third down to seventh, eighth is pretty wide open. I mean, it'll be, you know, not separated by a lot of points when it's all said and done. And, you know, I think that, you know, we can be right in the mix. Um, we've got some great relays. We're really excited about our relays. And, you know, I think that's going to help us out a lot being double points. And, um, you know, I think we've got better depth this year. You know, I think everybody going has a realistic chance of scoring. And, you know, if we get all 14 women to get in there and score where they're capable of, we're going to finish pretty high. All we can do is go in and swim the best of our ability and, and with the group of talent we have, if we go in and everybody swims lifetime best, we're going to finish pretty well.